Hello again. This is the implementation of the observer design pattern. Now, if you have watched the visitor design pattern example, there were a postman, and the postman were visiting the residences and getting the results. Now, the observer design pattern is kind of the opposite way of the design, visitor design pattern. We're going to have multiple observers observing one source. So, the example of the observer design pattern will be weather news. Now, let's think of the real-world example. There are agencies or reporters who are trying to retrieve the weather information from some kind of source and they will try to, you know, process this information. And I will have one weather news source and an agent and a reporter. Okay, they will both do different things based things with the information based on their own logic. Let's begin with creating one unique interface for the observers. And the class name will be well what could it be? Customer. Actually the interface name will be customer. So we will have customers for weather information, okay? These customers will get information. What kind of information? Well, weather information. First, void get weather, sorry, weather. There will be a message, string message passed to these methods like this message and for each customer for the testing purposes I would like to know their ID or name or whatever you want I will say int get ID they're gonna have to return me some kind of ID so that I can know who they are okay we have the customer interface now let's create one agency or agent Let's say agency who will implement the customer. Implement customer. Okay. You will have to override two methods one for getting the weather information, and the second for returning the ID of the particular agency. Let's say return this that ID. And ID will be a private variable. Let's make this random. Doesn't have to be in a particular logic here. There doesn't have to be in a particular logic. Dot next integer. Let's say one thousand plus one. We wouldn't want <laughs> zero. Okay. Now we will implement the get weather just in a minute. Let's create the other customer, which would be a reporter. I'll tell you why we have two different customer types in a minute. Again, just be a little bit patient because this is the implementation. Customer. These videos will be longer and deeper. So, reporter will overwrite these and I'm gonna copy paste I'm kind of lazy this and this okay now both reporter and agency is implementing the customer and they will have their own ID I can close the interface interface customer interface and let's take a look at the main method what what are we trying to achieve here now we're gonna have one source for weather news and we will have multiple instances of agency and reporter 
first actually I will need a weather news class. Actually the weather news will be observed by agency and reporter. So these two are observers. This one is observable. Okay. Let's create class the weather news. Okay. Now I have created the class. Now what will we have here? Now the basic idea of the observer design pattern is to store the observers inside the observable. So what do I mean by that? Let's correct that capital case. I will have a private list of the type the customers. Let's say customers. Okay. And I will need the list of the customers will be filled with other, uh, you know, the customers that supplied from outside the world. So I'm going to have a method for public void add customer. Okay. Now, this method will take a customer for parameter customer implementation. Note here, some kind of customer here and we'll check first if uh, exactly let's instantiate it from the get-go linked list. Why linked list? Because I will you know I will be interested in the order of the customers. It's not mandatory. I just prefer using linked list linked list here. I will customers not add the relevant customer the parameter. Okay. Now I have the weather news. I have the source. I have two different implementations. I will have two different imp implementations, the agency and the reporter, and they will be a listener, an observer for weather news. See, that's actually simple. So if some kind of weather news change, if you know they have some news to propagate to reporters or agencies or customers, for generally speaking, I will need some kind of method to notify them. Notify observe actually notify customers, not observers. You would usually see codes like notify observers, but in my example I would like to say notify customers. Okay. The weather news will have to notify each of the customers one by one. So we're going to have a for loop for each customer, okay? Now remember, customer will have get weather information. Okay? So this will be, sorry. There will be an info. Let's make this sorry, not import. Let's make this information here. string information equals let's make this random okay we don't know any you see in the observer design pattern this notify customers method can have lots of business logic insight will have lots of business logic insight but but the customers will just need the results information resulting information so my business logic will be random I usually use random in my examples. New random. Okay. We plus one, two plus one. Okay. This will be either random. Sorry. Next integer two. This will be either one or two or three, right? Yes, if I'm not wrong, this will be either one, two, three. 
So, actually, this will be three. It's exclusive. Yes, this will be one, two, three. I will need to propagate this information to get weather method of the customer. Let's write this here. The weather is well. There's going to be a switch case in this example. Switch over the number. All right. Case of one will be info equals let's say cold right and break and just like one there are gonna be two and three you see we are dealing with the business logic of the observer this is this doesn't have anything about the design pattern we are just implementing the logic behind the notification okay we have three different situations here cold warm or hot and this information will be passed into the get weather method now cannot find symbol no it's just stuck anyway let's see the get weather method Better method so for each of the reporter and agency. Okay, I have the message from the observer. You see, the observer's job is to pass this parameter to the observer. Observers, the observable's job is to pass this parameter to the observer. This is why I am avoiding these terms: the observer, observable, visitor, and <laughs> others. I can simply say the weather news has to inform the reporter and the agency. Remember it like that. So I'll say one print line. So this is a reporter, reporter plus ID plus got message or actually weather. Okay, in this case it's the weather, and I can create the same kind of actually different kind of logic here actually I will create a different logic here agency let's say for an agency if for purely testing pur testing purposes if message dot equals warm not equals warm it will return me the information. So maybe agency doesn't care about the warm weather. So agency can have different implementation. Reporter can have different imp implementation. The weather news doesn't care about how it's implemented. It will just inform, the not notify the observers, the reporter and agency. They will. They will just get the information from the observer, the weather news actually. So I have created one weather news, the one the source of the system, and I have created two different customers for agency and reporter. So this is the I told you at the beginning, this is the reverse kind of visitor pattern. The responsibility of the information transition is under weather news notify customers you have to notify each customer with the relevant information so what can I say what can I write in the main method first of all I'm gonna say I'm gonna have one uh, weather news source for weather news actually for my agency and reporters and I will have a customer a customer let's say customer new agency okay this agency will have a random ID all right now you remember weather news will have and add customer method inside to know who 
are listening to them, who are observing the weather news, we will know the customer lists. If we look at the customer list, we will know. So I will say news dot add listener add customer not listener the customer. Okay, I will add another customer new. Sorry, not weather new reporter. The reporter will also be added as a customer to weather news. Okay, now I will need to notify the observers like this dot news dot notify observers. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You know the you see the outside world. Our main method is fairly simple. We have a news for news uh, source. We have customers. We don't even know the list who is listening. We are just adding new customers to new to these weather news to this weather news. Yes, and the weather news will notify the observers, the agency and reporter at some point, whenever we want. Weather news will know who to inform. Okay, who are listening to the weather news? They will know the customer list here. The notif notification logic will have some kind of business logic inside. Reporter and agency will not care about how complicated the weather news is. They will just get the result and process that result however they want. Now, why do we have two different customers here? If we haven't implemented a customer interface, we would have been stuck with one type of you know observer maybe only reporters could listen to these could actually observe these weather news but it would be you know bad practice we would be a this way we will be able to supply multiple kind of customers and the weather news will not have to you know deal with the type of the customer. The weather news will just say, hey customer, get the weather. So I don't care the rest. Do whatever you want with the message. Now let's run this and see the result. Okay, reporter 122 got 22 got the message warm. Yes. We have printed only the program has printed only one line because remember agency doesn't care about the warm weather weather so if the result is warm there will be no agency print out here let's run it again sorry again warm warm not oh I made a terrible mistake no yeah. no no hot yes it's not hot. It's not not. It's hot. I thought it was not. Yes, I'm getting tired. So, if weather is hot, they will both print out the ID and the message. If warm, only the reporter will print out the information, actually process the information. If it's cold, let's see if it's cold. It's random. Yes, now it's cold. Both of them got the message. This is success and they have processed the information however they want. So that's all about the implementation of the observer design pattern. You will probably would likely likely to have a remove customer method inside the weather news. Actually let's make this happen too because in real life well, the best practice will be you know, able to be able to be able to add and remove customer customers from the weather news. You wouldn't want to be stuck with the customers you have. So they will need the option to remove themselves from the list. Public void remove customer. Sorry. 
This can just take the ID value of the agency and the reporter. You see, we have the get ID here. Actually, that's why we have the ID. We will first iterate over customers and find if the uh, customer dot get ID equals ID and I will say actually I will create a cut temp list here like this temporary list of customers temp list will be new linked list sorry linked list okay if the ID is not equals to ID I will add temporary list I'll add a customer and after all I will set the customer list as temporary list done and we can also print out the information for best practices customer plus ID has left okay now we had two customers one for agency one for reporter we have notified them and we will remove the last customer remove customer with the ID of customer that get ID and let's notify them again yes the first weather was warm reporter got the information and said warm the second weather was cold but the reporter the 115 has left so only agency got the message of cold so that's all about the observable observer design pattern i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching